Yo guys, what's going on and welcome back today to a brand new video on the channel. As you can probably tell by the title, today we're going to be speaking about structure and the ultimate morning and evening routines which you can do to uh, help boost your productivity, again add more structure to your life and the more structure you have, essentially the more productive you can be, therefore the more you can get done. The more you can get done, the more successful you can be, the more successful you are, the more money you make. So it goes around and around uh, in circles and today that's exactly what I'm going to be speaking to you about. Um, I'm going to be going through my morning routine, my um, evening routine and a little bit about how I structure my day. Um, the whole structuring my day video, um, if I don't go enough in depth about it today and you want a whole other video on that, let me know in the comment section down below. Um, so first things first, I'm going to be speaking to you about the first thing that I do when I wake up in the morning and a bit about my morning routine. So. I like to wake up the same time every single day because by waking up the same time every single day you get your body into a routine, your body gets used to waking up at that time um, and I like to always get at least uh, seven and a half hours sleep um, if not nine hours all right um, again I'll go into that in further detail when we speak a bit more about the nighttime routine um, but I get up at 6 a.m. every morning now the first thing that I do at 6 a.m. Uh, I wake up, I get up on my first alarm, without that you have to get yourself up, there's no point snoozing, um, you're just making yourself more tired if you do that, set your alarm for 6, um, there's a fantastic app um, which I recommend you download, I have it, uh, it's called Alarmy, it's completely free um, and it means basically what you've got to do is you can actually like use a barcode to scan, so you could leave say your favourite um, coffee or orange juice that you drink every morning um, and leave it in like I don't know downstairs in your bedroom or upstairs depending where you sleep or in another room um, and then your alarm will only turn off once you scan that barcode or you can do a photo so the photo has to be same every day it's quite cool again I might make another video on that app entirely in another one if you're interested in that let me know um, but yes yeah, so I highly recommend that get up on your first alarm at 6 a.m. Um, from then I get myself up I go into uh, my lounge and then the first thing I do first thing in the morning is my five minute journal. Um, I've got another one here called the Productivity Planner. Um, these were recommended to me by a mentor of mine and they're absolutely flipping awesome. I highly recommend them. Um, as far as journals go, they're a little bit more expensive. They're about 20 pounds each. However, um, these both last for, they've got six months worth of content in them for you to use. So, you know, if, if you if self-improvement is important to you 40 pound for both of these is such a small investment to make I highly recommend you get them um, the link will be in the description if you want to however you don't have to you can just take the same principles from these books and write them on plain paper or in a notepad for yourself if you're a bit tight on money and you don't want to spend the money but out of easiness and their super nice quality I highly recommend you go and grab some um, again I'm not making this video for any sort of affiliate commissions they are affiliate links but I make like two pound like per sale so I'll probably make hardly any money from this even if you guys do buy it um, you know so I'm not doing this for money I run my own business I don't need it but um, if you want to help the channel out a little bit you know go ahead and use the affiliate link if not you can just google on Amazon five minute journal and productivity planner and find them yourself but um so yeah the first thing I do in the morning is this one here this is called the five minute journal now I'm gonna open this up super nice quality like I said uh, and it only takes five minutes. When you first start open uh, out this book, there's a, um, a huge section that basically tells you how to use it. So I'm not going to go through and tell you exactly how to use it. But on here, um, it has a little quote at the top, which you can read uh, just at the top there. And then from there, you write three things you're grateful for, three things that would make today great. Um, and then a daily affirmation. Um, if you don't know what affirmations are, it's basically you tell yourself you are something. So um, basically, I could say, I am uh, a caring and loving boyfriend and a fantastic, uh, fantastic son or something like that. Um, or I am a business genius or, you know, you just, you just affirmate something that you are. Okay. Um, it helps change your mindset and to make you really become the person that, um, you affirm yourself as. So, um, they're quite powerful. Um, so yeah, so I'm just going to show you a blank page here and that's what it looks like. Again, if you don't get this book, I highly recommend you do it for yourself. It doesn't take long at all. What this helps to do is set yourself off in a good mood, okay? And what I like to do as soon as I finish doing this five minute journal is just smile. Uh, you know, it's, it's super cheesy and the first few times you do it, you feel a bit like, ugh, you know, you feel a bit cringy, but just do it, just smile. Um, Again, I'm not going to go too much in detail in this. Um, I highly recommend you highly recommend you read a book called Awaken the Giant Within from Tony Robbins. That goes 
so much into detail about NLP um, and the importance of like changing your the way your thought processes are um, and there's your subconscious and things like that but by starting your day by saying three things you're grateful for what would make today great saying that you are something you know like you are great or something like that and then smiling your brain's already in a positive mood like imagine that you're waking up at 6 a.m by quarter past six ten past six you've already put your body and your brain into such a fantastic happy mood you're already happier than 99 percent of these people out there whether you work a job whether you've got your own business whether you don't believe in anything like this you need to start doing this guys you need to start um doing these morning routines um uh, and that's all you have to do. Then at the bottom here, there's stuff for the nighttime routine. But when I get into the nighttime routine after this, I'll um, explain a bit more detail. So from then, what I do, st sat down in the same position still. Um, with, by the way, I forgot to mention, um, I pour myself a big glass of water. Um, and sometimes I get myself a black coffee if I'm feeling a bit tired. Uh, but yeah, a big glass of water, like a, a litre of water to drink in the morning as well. You need to hydrate yourself first thing in the morning. Um, and then from here... I start to use the productivity planner again um, if you buy this book yourself it's got tons of info in it on how to use it at the beginning um, and there is like weekly planning in here I'm not going to go into the weekly planning I'm just going to go into what I do every single morning uh, again you get a page here of all information um, if you want to take a picture of this or screenshot it for yourself you can don't know how well you can see this I'm just going to scroll and show up um, but yeah let me walk you through exactly what it says so at the top, again, it says a nice quote to start your day. So I'll read that quote to myself. I'll read it out loud, out loud a couple of times. And then up top, you write your most important task of the day. Now, the whole thing of this productivity planner is to be more productive, not just busy. Working hard is fantastic. But if you're working hard and not really getting anything done, you're wasting your time. There's absolutely no point doing it. So what this productivity planner helps you do is prioritize your top five tasks for the day okay and if you've got any more than five things to do you're doing too much okay um, or you're not prioritizing enough on the most important things what this tells you to do write your most important task down of the day then your second then your third then your fourth and your fifth in order of priority and only do the second one after you complete the first one and then only do the third after you complete the second and so on and so forth therefore you're making sure that you are productive and not just busy um, the most important task of the day tends to also be the task that's probably the most uncomfortable or that you least like doing. Um, it's weird, but that's usually just the way it is. Uh, the harder tasks are the more normally the most important ones. Uh, sending an email is super easy, but it's super low importance, which is why lots of people wake up first thing in the morning and just do the easiest thing just to start their day. We don't want to do that. By being productive, you know, you're doing this at 6 a.m., but come 6.15, I'm already writing in my productivity planner, planning my day for the most important tasks. Um, uh, and then I write all these down and then I write a little note in there, that, you know, so a couple of other things that I need to get done or just low priority tasks which take no time. Um, and then I'll fill that out and then I'll be done. Then from then, that takes me up till about half past six. Uh, then at half past six, I'll go and get myself ready for the day. Uh, no, sorry, no, I won't. Uh, at half past six, sorry. Uh, once I've done my two my books, um, my productivity plan and five minute journal, I'll sit down uh, and I'll use an app. Oh, what's it called actually? Let me find out. Um, basically, it's a meditation app um, just to really help yourself relax, unwind. Uh, it's called Headspace. Again, I highly recommend you do it. It's got some free, uh, some stuff that's free on there, some stuff that's paid. I've only ever used the free stuff. Um, so you can get by just using that. If you want to use the paid, it's, it's only cheap anyway. Um, but yeah, Headspace, I just do 10 minutes a day, just the first thing in the morning, just relax, um, breathe deeply, completely, um, you know, just does not stress, just start my day off, just in such a positive mindset, guys, it's, it's fantastic, and um, that take me up to, again, about 20 to 7, from then, um, I'll go get myself showered, I'll brush my teeth, um, I'll get myself ready for the day, I'll get myself dressed, get myself in my gym equipment, um, fill up my big tube, a half gallon water bottle, and basically sit out the door and walk to the bus, um, and then on the bus, I get myself, uh, the bus leaves just after seven o'clock. Um, the bus takes me to the gym. And at the gym, um, I'm working with a personal trainer at the minute, so he gives me my workout plan. Um, I get my workout in, um, obviously drink all my water. And by the way, I forgot to mention, on the bus, on the way to the gym, I read a book. Uh, it's only about a 15 minute journey. But if you consider I do that on the way there and on the way back, I'm reading for 30 minutes a day when a lot of people would just be listening to music or just on their phone texting. Um, I'm just I'm just away with the fairies. I'm reading my books. Um, at the minute, I'm, like I said, reading uh, Awaken the Giant Within with Tony Robbins. Fantastic. Um, and then once I get to the gym, I put my book away, lock everything away, hit my workout for the day. Um, on a Monday, a Wednesday and a Friday, 
I hit a heavy weight training, conditioning, and then on a Tuesday and on a Thursday, um, uh, I'll hit. I'll just walk to the gym and I'll do a bit of cardio, a bit of sauna, um, and that's that. So that takes me all the way through till about nine o'clock at the gym. I get there about uh, half past seven. No, get there about quarter past seven by the time I walk to the gym from the bus stop. It takes me about half seven. I work out for an hour and fifth hour for about an hour. Walk back to the bus station, get the bus back, shower, uh, and that takes me up by the time I eat as well. And so it takes me to about half past nine. And then from half nine until 12, I do my most important task of the day, as mentioned in here. Now, it won't always take me two and a half hours. Um, however, if, it, if I complete the first task, I'll head on to the second. But I do the most important task of the day until to midday. Um, and then what I'll do, my phone on, by the way, this whole time, my phone is on aeroplane mode. So no one can contact me. I'm completely disconnected. I do no busy work at all. Up until midday, it's all focused on me. It's about being productive as possible, getting stuff done, and then also um, focus on self-improvement, mindset, and stuff like that. And then, um, like I said, up until 12, um, I'll do that. And then usually, recently I've been doing some intermittent fasting, so at 12, I'll break my fast, I'll chill out for half an hour, an hour, I'll eat my lunch, um, I'll watch a couple YouTube videos, maybe go through a course whilst I'm eating, and then half 12, one-ish, I'll get back on, and then I'll do my busy work for the day, like uh, any stuff I have to do for my agency, any client work, um, uh, any, any stuff that's like important to do because you need to do it to get paid for example like for me for like my agency like or my freelance and stuff I need to get work done for clients or emails I might do a few of them or personal branding stuff um, but that's basically all I do but all of this stuff like the most important task of the day just to know should be something that's really gonna help you progress um, for me for example that might be client outreach sales um, like trying to get meetings um, or for personal branding maybe working on a course or a um, and like a funnel or something like that like that's or ads for my personal brand like most really important tasks uh, and that's basically what I do now that's my morning routine um, my evening routine is super super simple um, basically like I said I always try and get seven and a half hours sleep um, I tried to sleep in an, uh, a blocks of an hour and a half again I, went, I had a coaching call with um, one of my friends and a mentor a couple of weeks ago and we went all through this um, and he says basically you should sleep in blocks of an hour and a half so you should get you know six seven and a half or nine hours sleep but I always try to get at least seven and a half but again Google Calendar is your best friend for, for structure um, Google Calendar put it in the calendar and just follow it so up until uh, so at 9.45 my nighttime routine starts Basically, all I do is I'll get everything ready for the next day, the clothes I'm going to wear, hang it up, make everything as easy as possible for myself, get my gym bag ready, um, all that good stuff, and then I'll basically just finish filling out uh, my productivity planner and then my five-minute journal. So at the end of these five-minute journals, all it is, at the bottom here it says, three amazing things that happened today, and then how could I have made today better? So if you look at that, it's the darker bit at the bottom. You fill that in, um, again, three things amazing that happened today, allows you to reflect on the day, tell you what you did good at, and then what could, what didn't you do, what could you have made better, and then by doing this, you're programming your brain to realizing what you do good, what you don't do well, how you can improve, etc. That takes literally like two minutes to do. Um, and then the productivity planner. At the bottom of this, all you have to do at the end of every day is to rate your productivity on a scale of one to 10. So if you feel like you're super productive and you can be more productive, it's a 10. If you feel like you got nothing done, that's a one. Um, and then you can write a little note underneath. Sometimes I put today was a productive day. Today could have been better. How it could have been better. And that's that. And then what I do is I make sure, by the way, that my phone's set to uh, night shift. So I'm not getting any blue light. I use something called Flux on my laptop. So I don't get any blue light. Um, and uh, I turn off, disconnect, and, and then I go to sleep. I relax for 30 minutes. Sometimes I'll read in bed. Um, sometimes I'll just sit there, speak to my girlfriend. Unwind for the day go to sleep, set my alarm for the next day, get up and attack the day again. Um, again, this is a bit of a longer video about my structure. Um, I'm sure there's things that I can improve on. Um, as soon as I pass my driving test, I'm not going to have to be so stuck on hit, hit to make sure I get the bus at quarter past seven. So, you know, I might start doing more stuff like yoga and stuff in the mornings. Uh, again, this is a, it's a work in progress, but um, just making sure you're consistent with it's the most important. Let me know thoughts on this, guys, um, and if you've got any recommendations for me, stuff that I should be doing, please let me know. And uh, if, if you've learned from this, um, you know, please leave a like, leave a comment below. 
and if you're interested these two will be linked in the description below go ahead and pick them up if you want to I really recommend them they're fantastic um, just makes life so much easier rather than writing on paper and what's nice is these are really good quality they don't take up any space and you can look back in six months time go through all this see how you've improved how your mindset's changed how your business has changed and what kind of things you're working on and you know it's just nice to have these to look back on but yeah um we're getting up to the 16 minute mark now guys so i'm just going to say thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed leave a like leave a comment subscribe if you're new and turn on that notification bell and i'll see you tomorrow for a brand new video take care guys